Good evening and welcome to Glenwood Academy's annual Thanksgiving Unluncheon. <laughs> I'm Leanne Trotter and we are so thrilled that you've joined us for tonight's virtual event in support of Glenwood Academy. We may not be able to sit together with you around the table the way we have in years past, but we hope that we can bring some of that warm, festive spirit to your screens tonight. I'm so honored to be hosting this event alongside Glenwood's president and CEO, Mary Holly. Oh, thanks so much, Leanne. And welcome to everyone joining us virtually. Our mission here at Glenwood is significant. It's to eradicate poverty, injustice, and inequity through the power of residential education. And we cannot do it without your support. I want to thank our many sponsors who have really been supporting us through this unprecedented year. I also want to acknowledge the committee who made this event possible. This year's co-chairs are Kurt and Kelly Gaybauer, Stephanie Hickman, and Mark White and Esther Borvendeg. We could not do this without you, and we appreciate all the time and energy you spent making this event possible. Thank you. And last, but certainly not least, Leanne Trotter. Leanne is a Chicago native and seasoned NBC reporter. Leanne has highlighted Glenwood Academy really over the past several years, and we are so thankful for that. But the most important thing is that as we got to know each other and as you got to know Glenwood, what we discovered about you was your generous spirit and generous heart. So thank you so much for being here tonight, Leanne. It's so sweet of you to say, Mary, thank you so much. Now, one of the reasons we're all here tonight is to support the incredible students, parents, and teachers who are a part of the Glenwood community. During tonight's program, we will hear from their perspective about what makes Glenwood so unique and how this revolutionary residential school creates a community for students to thrive. Now at any point this evening, you may visit our donation page, virtual2020.givesmart.com. Now if you're watching on YouTube, you can find the link in the video's description. And on the GiveSmart page, simply click on View Items to see giving levels and auction items. Our silent auction is filled with some amazing items and it'll be open for bidding until 5 p.m. tomorrow, November 20th. So I encourage you to give tonight and give freely because these remarkable students have the potential to change the world if given the opportunity. And your donation has the power to make a real difference in their lives, the lives of their families, and the entire community. So Mary, what do you think? Should we get started? I do think we should get started. This is my favorite part. Right now, you're gonna hear from some of our students and their families, and they're gonna tell you why they think Glenwood is so important and what it means to them. So sit back, enjoy, and hear from our very own students and their families about Glenwood Academy. Glenwood is special because it's not just a school, it's a community, a family, it's a support system. Glenwood to me is like a second family. I know my kids are safe here. I don't have to worry about them. They have the same values that I have at home. Glenwood Academy is different from other schools because they have the loving, enriched environment of the students at hand. Glenwood is my favorite school. They really care about us being successful. Glenwood is helping me by improving my grades, improving my emotional behavior, and telling me that I can get to my goal. It's also a place where I feel safe and I know I could grow as a person and individual. It's been helping me with a lot of things through my hard times. I think it's going to help me by bringing me to another step in my life, like my grades, my emotions, and my family behavior. Glenwood Academy is not just creating successful students, they're creating individual human beings who's going to be a part of society. They're creating scientists, doctors, lawyers, teachers. Glenwood is transformation. Glenwood is hope for the future. Thank you for donating. You have invested in my education as well as many, many students here at Glenwood. And I just want to say thank you. This has truly been a blessing for us in so many different ways. And I'm sure if it has been a blessing for us on this level, that it is for other families. And I'm thankful for the entire experience
Oh, wow, you really have the most incredible community here, Mary. Thank you so much, Leanne. You know, we really do. And we were able to stay connected even through these really difficult times through both our remote living and remote learning programming. I love that. And you know, Glenwood has been a part of this community for so many years. In this next segment, we're gonna take a look at what Glenwood has represented for students and families in this community over the years, and who makes up the student population today. Glenwood Academy's history spans all the way back to 1887. Robert Todd Lincoln, President Abraham Lincoln's son, and Oscar Dudley began the school as a way to address the deplorable and dangerous conditions of neglected and abandoned children in the Chicago area. The streets we drive today, Madison, Monroe, and Randolph, now lined with hip restaurants, were the home of children with nowhere to go. The school was founded as a place where boys were given the opportunity to practice skill for a future in the military or in a manual workforce like farming. These days, Glenwood Academy is very different, but maintains a similar purpose, providing resources and tools for a prosperous future to those who need it the most. Glenwood Academy serves as an extension of a family's resources. More than just a school, our one-of-a-kind residential program removes barriers to critical support through mental and physical health services, social and emotional development, and consistent access to the basics, food, housing, and safety clearing the way for a successful educational journey. The military program at Glenwood Academy helps the young men and women who attend to develop unmatched leadership skills and practice accountability and perseverance. Since nearly 100% of our students are at or below the national poverty level, and 92% come from single parent households, many may not receive those resources without attending Glenwood. Each of our students arrive with a minimum of three to four ACEs, or adverse childhood experiences. These directly affect that child's ability to learn, grow emotionally, and establish healthy relationships. ACEs are broken into three categories, which include abuse, both physical and mental, neglect, and household dysfunction, such as mental illness and substance abuse. Without Glenwood Academy, ACEs can severely impact a child's chance for a successful future. Glenwood Academy's clinical programming helps our children and families process and work through these negative experiences, clearing the way for a brighter future. At Glenwood Academy, students are supported by teachers, counselors, staff, and parents. The school's calm, picturesque 120 acres features residential cottages, classrooms, a gymnasium, library, administration buildings, and vast outdoor areas to run, to play, to garden, and to grow. After students graduate from our on-campus middle school program, they have the opportunity to attend one of three high schools we partner with, Marion Catholic High School, Eliana Christian High School, and Bloom Township High School. All 100% of students that graduate high school while at Glenwood go on to college or join the military. Glenwood Academy has changed a lot over the years, but one thing hasn't. We care deeply about giving our students the opportunities they deserve so they can build bright futures. Your generosity today makes this all possible. Wow, Glenwood has such a rich history and it's evolved so much over the years. What do you think are some of the misconceptions that people might have? Well, Leanne, you know, we have been around for a very long time and I do believe that there are some misconceptions that are still out there. I think that one of them is the fact that people don't realize we've been serving boys and girls for a very, very long time. I think the other one is really about our hybrid model of residential care. We send our kids home every weekend. So they come to us on Sunday evening. We return them home on Friday afternoon. They're able to maintain a deep connection with their families, but at the same time during the week, they're able to focus on themselves and on their academics. That's really great. Well, why don't we take a deeper dive into what day-to-day -day life at Glenwood looked like pre-pandemic. Starting at Glenwood changed things for me because when I used to go to other schools, I used to be shy. You would just like go to the gym, do your work, get out of school, and then go. But when I came to Glenwood, I stopped being shy. I made a lot of friends. It opened up multiple doors for me to do baseball, football, soccer, basketball. Glenwood makes it feel like anything's possible. 
It's different from a traditional school because the children get to live on campus. As opposed to a, a boarding school, it's still family oriented. You get to see your children every weekend. So every Friday you would pick them up and then you drop them back off on Sunday. We usually wake up around five and then we have to do pavement and then we march inside the building and have breakfast. They teach leadership through the military program. They appoint officers and NCOs who oversee the kids and make sure they're learning what they need to learn. And like the kids kind of look up to us. If you're a leader, then you have to go pick up your platoon. You have to be on pavement at 7.45. Then we go in to eat, so we go to class. If you're a high schooler, your bus comes at a certain time. You, you go to like three different high schools. Glenwood is unique by having small classes than usual in public schools. And you get more free time with the teachers and if you need help with anything. In the you have house parents. House parents are not necessarily a replacement, but they're an addition. So it's like an additional set of parents. So you still get the nurturing from a mother and a father because they have the married couples. And I think that's important for you to see because it helps them know what they want for their family life when they grow up. After school, we have activities. I do art sometimes, but I'm really into sports. There's two soccer fields and there's two basketball courts. I do football, basketball, and then clubs. I do it's this gaming club, music club, and an art club that I do. After school, you go to your cottage. You can sleep there, you do your homework there. It's basically like another home, but with other people with you. People you can trust. Power Hour, we do our homework, and our house parents helped us, and our classmates helped us too. The cottage basically gives you the family aspect of being at school. We learned that we can tell our house parents anything or tell any adult anything, and we don't have to worry about them telling anyone. It makes me feel like I never leave home and like I always have a family with me wherever I go. I have recommended several families to come to Glenwood because they have seen how my children have excelled. They take care of your kids. They make sure they eat. They make sure that they're educationally sound. I don't have any problems with homework. It has been so much stress lifted off of my shoulders. It's important to support Glenwood because for my family, it's helped change the outcomes and it's given them an advantage for better high schools, better better jobs. It's important to donate like to Glenwood because they're making our childhoods better and we have a lot of friends here and it's just amazing. Invest in the children because they are the future. And if you want to see a better world, the children is the way to do it. It is so inspiring to see the structure, the routine, all the educational opportunities that exist for Glenwood students. And I think one of the most amazing things is that parents and guardians are involved. That's right, Leanne. You know, our kids can't be successful if their families aren't a part of that success. So we wrap services around not only our student, but the entire family. And that includes our counseling services, health care, psychological care, vocational training, whatever it takes. And again, our kids, if they're successful and the families are successful, the community is successful. And we are so very thankful for the support of everyone out there tonight to let us be that successful. Indeed. So now to all our viewers out there, your support means that you're not just changing the trajectory of students' lives, you're impacting their entire family's future. Let's hear from some of those families who will tell us in their own words exactly how Glenwood's community approach benefits everyone. At my old school, there was a school shooting. My sister was outside and the student that they were shooting at tried to pick her up to use her as a shield, but she dropped back down. I have bad dreams sometimes, but to my brother, it really triggered him because he was so young, he was like six. It was overwhelming for me seeing King go from this outgoing kid to hiding in closets, sleeping under my bed, and not wanting to sleep alone in his room. In London, she struggled for a long time, and she didn't really earn good grades. And then with Alizé, she was always pretty motivated about school, and I started to see that leave from her. And at that point, I, I felt defeated. I had to pull him out, and I heard about Glenwood. I work in the railroad industry, so when the pandemic hit, they laid about 
20% of the staff off, and I had only been there for 18 months. So I was laid off. Glenwood has helped a lot. The best choice I could ever make was to come here. When my boy started here, I was in an abusive relationship, and it really helped them being on campus. Well, they wouldn't have to be home to see those things. It gave them a sense of community here, as well as the house parents. They were able to see a mom and a dad that show love and care and compassion. You get the attention you need, and the teacher actually want to help you achieve in life. They teach you to be respectful, be responsible. I'm more confident. My brother, he's more self-control. He doesn't get as mad as fast. Glenwood really made me like see how I was, like open up to other people without like being shy or scared. I feel like things have changed for me in my future at Glenwood. Glenwood is special because I have like, a family aspect. It's like a close-knit group where you know everybody on campus and everybody on campus knows you. The family-oriented atmosphere here has really, I think, strengthened my kids because they've been on road students since they've been here just helping one another out and seeing the importance of family and how Glenwood is an extended part of our family and if they care so much about all of us, not just the students, we need to care more about ourselves as well. Being kinder to neighbors, giving back to the community. Glenwood sets up students um, to change the world. Like Latif, he says, I'm going to be alumni. I'm going to come back and help other students. They build the intrinsic values of being loving and kind and all those things that you need to be a strong leader. When I grow up, I would like to be a police officer because I like to help people and give back to my community. Women's changed my future because now I know what I want to be in life, what I want to achieve, the person I am, how I want to be taught. I still look back at my old school like, where would I be now? And I think I'll be on the streets because I really just didn't care. I gave up because I felt like nobody was trying to help me. But when I came to Glenwood, they really cared. One person can have a big impact on the world, so if you do something positive that helps some, someone's life, then it can change things for a whole family or a whole community. We would be remiss if we didn't talk about how Glenwood Academy has been impacted by COVID-19, how this pandemic has had such a disproportionate effect on students and families, and how incredible their response has been. COVID-19 has had a disproportionate impact on families with children attending Glenwood Academy, as the vast majority of our students are Black or Latino. According to the Centers for Disease Control, African Americans make up 14% of Illinois' population but account for 33% of COVID-19 deaths, while Hispanics have three times the rate of positive tests than white non-Hispanics. In addition to inequities in healthcare, people of color make up the majority of workers in jobs that present a greater risk of coming in contact with the virus on a daily basis. Many of our students' families have lost loved ones. They've lost work due to sickness, layoffs, and cut hours. Without support from Glenwood Academy, they would have no recourse. Our response was immediate and has continued consistently throughout the pandemic. We made sure that all students had access to the technology they needed in order to conduct remote learning successfully. In addition to daily virtual classes, students are also able to experience one-on-one -on -one remote sessions with teachers and virtual power hours where they study with others and have access to academic and emotional support. Even our high school students, who are taking virtual classes through those institutions, still participate in virtual study halls and regular check-ins with Glenwood staff. Glenwood Academy has provided many essentials to families in need, including gift cards that may be used for food, clothing, school supplies, and other important items. We offer 24-7 access to an emergency hotline for students and families, as well as counseling services for those who need them. Through this response to the impact of COVID-19, we are letting our families know they are not alone. Join us as we continue to offer support during these difficult times. Three things that I'm grateful for. It would be hard to choose just three. I'm thankful for 
the opportunity to still learn even during this time. I'm thankful for my mom and that I have a lot of things I really need in life to where I can start off with a good childhood. I'm grateful for my support system. I'm grateful for my mom and how Glenwood is helping her. I'm pushing in life. I'm not giving up even when something goes wrong. I am thankful for my family, my kids. I wake up every morning just for them. I'm thankful for my teachers and I'm thankful for life. Three things I'm thankful for is definitely my family, the support that Glenwood has given us, and just to be here. I'm grateful for the donors because without Glenwood, I wouldn't be the person I am today. Without the donors, Glenwood would be Glenwood. We are grateful for you. We need you. We love you. Thank you. I'm thankful for having the opportunity to come to Glenwood. I'm thankful for this community that I have at Glenwood. And I'm also thankful for Glenwood. I'm thankful for Glenwood. I'm grateful for Glenwood. I'm thankful for Glenwood. Now as we draw to a close tonight, we just want to acknowledge that in spite of all the difficulties, we have so much to be grateful for this year. Before you sign off for the evening, we'd love to hear from you. Let us know what you're thankful for by leaving us a comment on our YouTube page. I personally am grateful for Glenwood Academy for the good work that you all do making a difference in the community. Thank you so much, Leanne. And you know, I'm very thankful for all of you that are watching tonight. I'm grateful for your support because it's more important than ever. And we appreciate all that you do for Glenwood Academy. We are hopefully going to have our students back on campus soon. And until then, we provide them with the tools that they need so that both they and their families can be successful. Thank you for joining us this evening and for your continued support. If you haven't yet, I encourage you to visit the donation page at virtual2020.givesmart.com. Have a wonderful holiday season and stay healthy and safe. We're going to close with a short message from our staff. Good night, everyone. Be safe. Let's go, So please don't let